Weird Science is the revolution. The Vengeance of the Moon Knight, number four, written by Jed McKay, art by Alessandro Capuccio, colors by Rachel Rosenberg, letters by VCs Corey Petit. I am here with my man, Zach. What up, Zach? What's up, Jim? What's up? And I have to say, unlike what everybody, you know, ended up saying when we reviewed the last issue, th- this is an ongoing series. I just want to point that out to everybody that they're wrong and we were right, right? I think that's mm-hmm. how it was. We actually, me and you both, Went by Comixology Never that again listed it. Yeah, I mean it, People <laughs> are probably laughing that we did in the first place But we did go, so we apologize If we confused anybody saying that it was a five issue many uh, But yeah, never again We will not end up checking that Because this is an ongoing for now Isn't everything an ongoing for now? Yeah uh, And it will be tying into Blood Hunt And it's weird because at the end of this issue You end up to be continued and then I said to you, oh, I think it's, you know, probably going to go to Blood Hunt. I'm surprised you didn't set anything up. And you said, no, 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 I think issue number six is the Blood Hunt, which would make sense when we get to the reveal. And then I look at issue five just to see what the solicit is right away. Blood Hunt tie-in. <laughs> and I'm like, I think that might be a, a spiritual tie-in to then, the last as page you said, tie-in. make last page or something like that as they try to work things through. But with the cliffhanger ending reveal here, I, I don't know what you tie into if there's a team. If that, it, It's a weird play to, to try to figure out how this book will continue if it continues, you know, long form with the reveal. We'll get to it in a minute because there's not that much going on in this issue. Yes, we talked about it last episode that we talked on this issues or on this book that we thought we're either going to get eight ball. Or Hunter's Moon doing therapy. We get Hunter's Moon. I laughed yep. about eight ball. We get Hunter's Moon. And yeah, he's talking to Dr. Sturman. And Dr. Sturman is giving the, well, tell me how you really feel. Tell me how you really feel. And while it's going on, you do have Hunter's Moon, like name dropping things that I kind of was confused about. Like, I'm okay, I get it. He says, when I fought this different moon night, He had a fighting style that I recognized. It's this Cold of Kali back in the day. And and also, for people who don't know the character, you don't get tons, but the idea that he's died multiple times, comes back, comes back. That's what the Fist of Country does. But he's at the end of that line. If he dies again, he dies. As Drago said in Rocky IV, if he dies, he dies. That's what I thought. And with all that, though, it's it's still not that interesting. You actually liked, I think, the therapy part more than I did. A little, just a little. I just it, it ends up where okay, we get it. You're going through these feelings, but what ends up happening in this is maybe bigger for other people. I don't mind Hunter's Moan. He's not my favorite character. I mean, unfortunately for Spoiler me, alert, Jim, he's mine. My favorite character <laughs> in this book, I, I hate this, was Mark. <laughs> it was actually <laughs> Moon Knight. Uh, my second is Tigress. So. I, I, right. I'm telling you, Hunter's Moon definitely comes in before Soldier. He's a dumb yeah. but yes. you know, so in that, I'm more of a Mark guy, so everything is kind of, you know, kind of against me here. But it is kind of interesting him talking about the idea of his past lives coming back, the Fist of Conchu. It was kind of a cool thing when he was first introduced to go oh, where yeah. Mark's like, but I'm the Fist of Conchu. And- There's two fists, Mark. I love that so much. That was great. That's the best thing I think that Jed McKay did in this whole series to figure that out. I thought that was really cool. But in this, it's the idea where Sternman is saying, are you mad about Mark not being the new Moon Knight? Are you mad that somebody's taken his place or took his place? Or are you upset that somebody has assumed the role of the Fistic Conchu? And there's like that semantics there because in my mind, you know, I'm, but I'm not Hunter's Moon. I'm not a fist of country. To me, as a reader, I think of those as one and the same. The idea, if you're mad about one, you would be mad about the other, but it would make sense that Hunter's Moon actually then comes to admit, I really don't care about it not being Mark. I just feel like this is a, a dupe. It's a guy who does not deserve what I died for over and over and over again. So you have all that. Now, in that, you even said to me beforehand, like, and I'll kind of tie in the idea of, well, how would you know and what would happen if somebody showed up and said, hey, by the way, Conchu made me the fist of Conchu. Like, we could find out that the Shroud ends up saying, 
hey, you know what? Conchu chose me. I got a hold of Conchu in the Asgardian prison. He chose me. And then how does that change things? Or you told me that you would think it would be cool. Or Conchu's kind of pissed off. Like, hey, I got two fists, right? Why isn't anybody breaking me out of prison? <laughs> exactly. So when he sees Mark die, he's like, I'm going to get somebody who could do some of the work here and get going. And maybe that could have been, and maybe that'll be. I, I don't. I hope that's what it is. Yeah, we have to find out. And, and as this goes, I'll just reveal the spoiler. Spoiler alert. We find out that the shroud ends up being the new Moon Knight. I'm not going to say the new Fist of Conchu because that would get Hunter's Moon. Vader would be pissed at me, and I don't need He'd him mad at so He's the new Moon Knight. We'll have to see what that means in the Fist of Conchu. I just think that what happens here is that. Vader's upset because he was always the left fist. Now he thinks he should be the right fist. But then this other guy comes in. He's like, I don't want. So ridiculous. I, I, I should like be the, the dominant fist. Why is yeah, he the like, dominant fist What's going fist on? Now. I'm the fist that wipes the butt. I don't need that. Let's get going. Uh, but they're going. In, and the whole thing is the mission to go and find definitely who this Moon Knight is, is just going to be Tigra and, and Hunter's Moon. He says that they left. You know, Reese, Soldier, and and I like Reese more than Soldier too. I will. Yes. I just want to yes. point out. And and with that, I think of Eight Ball as kind of like a mascot. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> he's like he's not fully like part of the. T- I think of him as like a given type of mascot there. So he, you have Eight Ball watching Reese and Soldier while Tigra and Hunter's Moon go off, and they go, and you you made me laugh because you said they're going to the place that we would never look. You know, to figure out who might have replaced Mark, you know, after Mark you, died. You know, the place he died? <laughs> the, <laughs> like, the place where like, there might be evidence, right? Yeah, yeah, well, it's just like, it's like, oh, uh, we didn't want to look there because we didn't think anybody there. It's like, well, you didn't know at first that Mark Spector, whether or not he was alive, dead, you didn't know. You should have gone back and looked. Like, the, the minute death. that he came, that you thought it was him. Yeah, it felt weird that he beat up and pretty much just destroyed 8-Ball. But when you go there, I get that they don't want to go back to where they might be upset. But that doesn't tie into what Hunter's Moon just said, that he really doesn't care about Mark not being Moon Knight. He's upset more about the Fist of Country. So he's almost playing off that he doesn't really care that much about Mark. So they go back to the Mount to check this out. It's a weird progression of a scene. And this whole issue feels a little stretched out to get to is supposed to be a big reveal because you have the therapy going on while you then have Tigra and Hunter's Moon talking about security measures, talking about the idea that there's no electricity, so everything's battery-powered, and that Tigra, she knows because of her kids and all their gadgets where Hunter's Moon doesn't understand it. And I'm like, really? Like, this is what we're worried about. (laughs) Like, we're doing (laughs) that. And it's not a lot, but it's still half a page. Well, it it don't matter anyway, because they just charge in there no matter what. Yeah, yeah, they end up charging in. So they don't, like, what I thought they were going to do is just take the batteries out of of this thing, or kind of come up with a a cool idea of this is what messes up batteries, you know, but no. And really what it is, is, hey, get this, the security is battery operated. So there's no electricity, and they can. And then it ends with Tigra says, "Okay, well, like Mark said, I want them to see me coming, which could be sexy." I, I mentioned that earlier. <laughs> so you mentioned that in the Slack. I'm like, it could be sexy, actually. I, I still but yeah, giggle. So it, it would be like me and you going on and on about the security measures, and then I just, you know, Leroy Jenkins it because I say I don't care. I'm just going to go in. There you have it. They go in, and that's where you see where while. You know, this new Moon Knight isn't Mark, also not living the greatest life. I'm like, I I have seen squatters in in crack dens who have better surroundings, (laughs) like laying on the floor with this little sensor. Oh, no, it looks like somebody has broken in. And he's like, okay, that's pretty cool. They're, They're down with it. And then it's like sensor eight goes, sensor six. But again, that really doesn't matter. They're just running into fights. So you end up having a a big fight and you have hunter's moon versus this moon knight who ends up being the shroud like we said but some of the art which i do like the art it does get a little bit confusing following who's who and who's saying what at one point i actually did think that they were talking opposite each other and um oh oh that was this other okay and this whole thing is the cold of color 
I recognize you. You're part of, you know, the Cult of Kali. And he's like, well, I used to be. And then we have this big fight. And then Tigra realizes, oh, my God. And now she realizes, oh, my God, you peppered up my nose so that I couldn't smell you because I know you. Hey, Max, reveal yourself. Boom. The shroud. He ends up taking off the, you know, the, the mask deal. The shroud, even. And it's the shroud. And I think that's all really this kind of is. And if you're not familiar with the shroud, which I don't know that a lot of people will. And, and I'm, not. I'm not even sure that if you know the shroud, that this is going to be a wow moment. Maybe people will say, well, it makes sense because he's kind of a Batman slash the shadow, maybe with a little iron fist mixed in that you even saw. But that would make sense because Moon Knight's kind of that as well. He ended up being part of the night shift. That he formed it. There's some connection there, but the big thing is West Coast Avenger, things like that. And he is at points a villain that was also a hero. I get it. I get the idea, but I don't think of it as this, oh my God. Like when I read the end, I looked at this where she says, Hey Max, you know, or should I call you the Shroud? I'm like, All right. At All least right. we found out and let's see. But I think the big play here is to see where we go from here. Is this going to be something where they accept him as the Moon Knight? Is he actually kind of a fist of country? Can you play that game? Or is this just where they're like, no, 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 you suck. And we're going to try to find Mark or maybe he's trying to. I is, don't is know. Is this where they're going to form the new Night Force? Yeah. And, and when you say all this, it's like the, the reveal is the reveal. But I really do have to see what comes next. This isn't a wow moment for me personally. So I have to see how it develops from here. But I did say that they needed to reveal who this was, and they did. They did it the next issue. Somebody even told me, so I'll give credit where credit's due there. But in my mind, this had almost the same exact reaction for me is when, even with the spoilers out there, but if I hadn't had them, the idea that the hood is the new Ghost Rider. See, I think that now these two smack butts should hang together. It's like, hey, you know, they're just sitting there talking like, Man, Hood, you're pretty cool as a ghostwriter. He's like, why do, Why doesn't anybody care? It's like, I don't know. Nobody cares about me, the Shroud, being the moon. <laughs> I mean, it just feels like these books end up doing this where it's such a lesser version or a lesser option that, come on, just, uh, Jim, just Jim, get Jim, you're, you're forgetting our favorite guy, Joe Garrison. He can join them. Yeah, and Joe Garrison. Exactly. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing, Marvel? Why are we replacing everybody with lesser you versions replace of themselves? Them with the West Coast knockoffs, we can call them. Right, we could cut East Coast. I don't care where they are; they are kind of knockoffs. And I, I can understand what they were trying to do with Show Cares. It was such <laughs> a bad book and a failure. Uh, but I don't get what you're doing with this, or even the Ghost Rider stuff. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear if anybody else, when they read this, is that impressed. I, I just ended up where it's a, it's what I think that Jeb McKay does a lot. There's nothing completely wrong with the issue. The dialogue's okay. I think that the pacing is always a little bit off. The, you know, you don't get a ton of stuff in the slow pace, but just by the end, it's just the whole thing just kind of is like, eh, I just like shrug and like, okay, let's see what's next. That was the problem I had with the regular Moon Knight series when I dropped it at one point because I just kept getting to ends of issues going, okay, th- that was okay. It wasn't great, but, uh, you know, nothing wrong. But I need more than that. I need more. And now this is going to go off into the whole, you know, blood hunt, whether or not, as we think, it's going to be the last page next issue. But then it hits the main deal. And I'll probably, I don't know. I don't even know what we're going to do with reviews. We're going to review all of the issues. I hate to not review every issue of something, but there's so many damn issues. I don't know if we can (laughs) do it. So it's almost like if you can't do them all, then you just bail. I don't know. We'll see. But what would you give this? Uh, I think I'm going to be a little generous this time. I think I'm going to do 5.5. Uh, the, the, re- the reason I'm doing that is just because I do think that this could be cool to some people. I don't know how many, but that I like about this issue is the stuff with the therapy. I know you said you didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, But the main reason I liked it was just because it's like, he's the most interesting out of all of them, in my opinion. Yeah, you like him. And you I got a like little him. bit. And the idea that he could die now, he said that yes, that's at the that end of I did like. That's very interesting. That's the most interesting. That's the real big reveal yeah. in this. Not the Shroud. That. And I, I've even talked, and I, I know that when we review things, we're doing our own personal opinions. I'm actually going to be way more positive than you. 
Oh, wow. It's so crazy. Oh, wow. I'm at 6'5". I'm not okay. that crazy. I'm one point over. But I, I, I like the art. And yeah, I like Tigra. Cool. I like, you know, that we did get a reveal, though it was kind of a shrug my shoulders reveal. But it, I did say I needed them, to, you know, Jeb McKay, to get to a reveal. And he did. So I'm going to give yeah, props he did. for I'll that. Give him credit. Weird science is the revolution.